Today, we'll take you to Xinjiang Hui Autonomous Region to check out a devoted artist who exhibits Xinjiang culture through polymer clay sculptures. Let's go take a look. The first time Du Junling saw these polymer clay figurines about seven years ago in Beijing, she instantly fell in love. Since that point, she decided to learn how to make these figurines as she wanted to use them to tell stories of life in Xinjiang. But as she says, it wasn't very easy in the beginning, even though she had a strong background in painting. Gradually, Du learned some simple decoration patterns from a DVD, and from there she grew. After putting down the basics, she started to create clay figurines in her own style, and her style is actually quite complex as she grew up in a multicultural environment. Adelaise silk is a very unique material that is popular among the Uyghur people. This type of silk is made by hand and it's very soft with various patterns, which is why it's a popular material for women to make clothes with. Du Junling also fell in love with this material and on her figurines you can see she has rolled out thin pieces of clay to depict this fabulous silk. Also we can see she has mimicked the various patterns of the silk and used them to decorate her unique polymer clay vases. Du has said that she works hard every day, sometimes to the point where she becomes obsessed as she will only sleep for two to three hours and work for the rest of the day. 出来一件作品就感觉特别特别高兴，一件作品出来了以后还想做第二件，做第三件，就这样子。Du has taken part in several art and craft exhibitions and has won a lot of praise throughout China. She has said that all these medals and certificates have given her the motivation to carry on creating special pieces, and she plans to build on her collection, which includes thousands of figurines as well as vases. Du's work might be the best and most authentic souvenirs you can find in the whole Xinjiang region. So buy one for someone special because each piece will be one of a kind.